This is an LS board timing video that I'm going to make. It shows you how to adjust the LS circuit board in the uh, Shocker Sport using these four potentiometers in the top corner. For this you need a Phillips head screwdriver and you just stick it in there and rotate it back and forth. In order for, to adjust the timing you have to have the battery installed and you have to turn the gun on. Right now it's already on. As you can see, wait for the LED to go off and you can adjust it. The potentiometers, or POTS for short, control the fire pulse, bolt pulse, turbo firing speed, and semi-auto firing speed. The turbo and semi are just the uh, rate of fire caps on the board. Semi-auto is capped at 13, turbo mode is capped at 9. They can both be adjusted higher and lower depending on uh, how fast you want to fire. If your board is a 4x4, then it won't have the turbo pot. This board is a turbo board, so it has a turbo and it has a switch in the front. If it's a 4x4 board, then one with the switch. Anyways, uh, the fire and bolt control the um, timing of the gun. The fire is basically like a dwell time, and that determines how long the valve is open to fire the ball. The bolt determines how long the bolt is open for a new ball to reload. It has to be set in accordance to your pressure and uh, your hopper speed, various things like that. Uh, the adjustment procedure is easy to do. Again, you use a Phillips head screwdriver, stick it in there, and rotate it. Look at the board indicator LED while you're doing it. It'll go between amber and green, depending on the position of the pot. If you rotate it clockwise, the amber position is the dead zone. If any of the pots are in the amber spot, then they're not going to work. It's going to be outside of the timing zone. So you have to rotate it clockwise until it turns green. Once it's green, it means it's the good zone and you can adjust it right there. That's the bottom, which is approximately the uh, 7 o'clock position. To continue rotating it until it starts to blink, that's the straight up middle position. Continue rotating it around and that's the uh, top adjustment right there. I'm going to back it off a little bit, go to the middle where it's blinking. The stock position is just slightly clockwise from the middle, so I'm going to put it right there. You can adjust this uh, using the website and other guides and things like that. I'm not going to go into uh, what you're going to be looking for, just how to adjust it. The bolt is done the same way, rotating it clockwise, you find the dead zone which is amber, and then green is the start of the timing zone. Rotate it around to the half, it starts to blink, continue rotating around, it speeds up the bolt, and that's the end. I'm going to put this back right at the uh, middle setting, and that'll be good. If you have a very fast hopper, then you can use the fastest bolt speed. But if you're using a slower or just an agitated hopper, then you'll want to use something else. But that's basically how you adjust it. When you're done, simply turn the board off and everything's good to go.